For the Metafest food. I don't know why my hair looks like such a helmet today. I have I I washed it last night and then I went right to sleep and so I've got like, you know, I slept on wet head hair. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have these little cup things? Yeah. Um, your first order of Metafest used to come with one. I don't know if it still does or not. I have like four or five of these. I love them. I ordered a bunch of them. I even, I still have this one from before I discovered Take Shape for Life and I just used Metafest. Uh, anyway, these are really great. This top is perfectly water uh, proof, you know, watertight. Um, this is the chili. I know a lot of you say that you don't like the chili. I used to not like it too, all right? But now I love it. So many foods that I used to not like, I now like. And there are some foods that I don't like now that I used to love. But the thing about the chili is that you gotta soak this thing. Minimum four hours, preferably overnight. This has been overnight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my chili, my soaked chili, with prepared mashed potatoes. I'm going to prepare the mashed potatoes exactly the way it says on the package, in a bowl, like this. Half a cup of water, so that it sort of looks like that. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave for one minute. That's all. Okay, there's that. There is the garlic mashed potatoes with a half a cup of water, microwaved for one minute only. I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna let it sit. While that's resting, I'm gonna take that cup of chili that I had made, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. You do understand that I put it in the microwave without the top on it, right? <laughs> yeah, because if you put the top on it, you can't microwave something in that cup with the top on it. Don't even try it, you have been warned. This chili is actually ready to eat, but we are going to make a little bit of a variation on my Metafast friendly shepherd's pie. We're going to be doing um, mashed potatoes and chili together. Obviously, you've probably figured that out already. I have my scale here. I have another cup similar to this one. I'm going to split this up into two. I'm splitting the chili into the two cups and I am going to weigh it to make sure that I am doing it properly. We want this to be even because this is two meals. We don't want more calories or more fat in one meal than in another. As you're splitting the chili into two separate cups, you wanna kinda of mix it as you pour it because you don't want there to be more beans and meat in one than the other. These weigh the same. Now I'm going to put the same amount of mashed potatoes on top of the chili for both. Does that make sense? <laughs> but the good thing about this is that you're making, it's kind of like you're tweaking a meal and it seems a little complicated, but you only have to do it once. And then the next time you eat this meal, all you have to do is stick it in the microwave for a couple minutes and you're good. Mm. There you go. Uh, this cup, is half chili, half garlic mashed potatoes. This cup is half chili, half garlic mashed potatoes. They both weigh 5.6 ounces, exactly, except for the little bit that I just ate off of the spoon. So now I'm going to eat this one now. I'm putting the lid on this one, I'm putting it in the fridge, and I'm going to microwave this later. I'm going to give this another 20 second zap in the microwave. And there it is. I'm gonna pour this into a bowl because I think it might look a little bit more attractive and you might be able to see what it is that I'm talking about. Okay, I've left hardly nothing behind. And now there's a half of a Metafast meal of mashed potatoes, half of a Metafast meal of chili. The chili was soaked overnight, so the beans are soft, the meat is, you know, rehydrated. It's the perfect temperature for me. I like my Metafast hot meals to be really hot. Now listen, you could totally use a, a bit of hot sauce in here. You could have even put some sprinkled cheese, some shredded cheese, excuse me, as long as it's low fat, as long as you count it towards your lean. Do not, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of adding your leans to your Metafast meals, but every once in a while, if you feel like you just need a little something, you know, fat is very, 
satisfying for your appetite. So if you feel like you just need a little something extra, either put a little spicy or put a little fat. It's not really a good idea to put both. Right now, I'm just gonna eat this the way it is. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but I'm starving today. It's one of those days. It's one of those feminine days. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this just the way it is, and then in three hours, I've got the same exact thing. Um, do I even need to put this in the refrigerator if I'm gonna eat it in three hours? Probably not. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make sure that the lid is not completely sealed on here because this was hot when I put the lid on, and just now as I took the lid off, I felt the the energy that was inside was very, very strong, so it sort of popped up a little bit. You gotta be careful when you put that lid on there if, if you have stuff that's in there that's like warm or hot, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I don't even know what to call this because it's sort of a take on the shepherd's pie, but it really has the chili flavor. Um, oh, by the way, you can add chili um, powder or cayenne pepper to this, and there's no calories and there's no sodium, really. Um, what do you call this? It's just uh, chili with mashed potatoes. If you can think of a good name, message me below and, you know, you win. I don't know what you win, but <laughs> we'll call it that. Talk to you guys later. Bye. And the sun and the air On the shyness that is criminally vulgar I am the sun and air Of nothing in particular